Need some help finding some edge in the prop market? Check out the Props AI tool on the LineStar app, your one-stop shop for all the information you need to place smarter bets. Gain insights into player history, projections, and trends, along with sportsbook odds. You can even compare the lines across multiple sportsbooks using our Prop Finder. Get the edge with Props AI today at linestarapp.com and take your prop betting game to the next level. Good luck, and as always, bet responsibly. Welcome to the NBA Prop Show presented by LineStar, your top three NBA player prop bets for today that are available on Underdog Fantasy, Prize Picks, Sleeper, Chalkboard, or wherever you place your sports bets. Alongside Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville. We were just kind of lamenting before the show about how Paulo Banchero let us down yesterday. We were 2-1 and one in our picks, and he had just two rebounds. That was just wild to me. I mean, especially with all the injuries that the Orlando Magic had, and he played like 35 minutes, like... Come yeah. on, let us that, down there. See, that's the thing time. that's so wild to me is the game was <laughs> so, like, you know, so gone and such a blowout so early. Like, I cannot believe he still played 35 minutes. It was like, just a big letdown yeah. for us. But our other picks cashed for us. Manuel Quigley delivered for us. He's got that the former Knicks. I'm always ha- like, I'm sad. I was sad to see him go, Tyler, but like, I'm, I'm happy mm-hmm. for him. Happy that he's having success and he's being utilized more efficiently and in a better way. So uh, we might be going back there tonight. Just say a little tease for our picks mm-hmm. for today. Uh, you can find our picks again on Underdog Fantasy Prize Fix Sleeper Chalkboard. Again, if you don't have those, download them and use that promo code LineStar for $100 of your first deposit match. Also, the tool that we use on this show is called the Props AI tool, and you can find that on the LineStar app. It'll help you with all of your prop betting endeavors, whether it be NBA or NFL. We'll also have some NFL shows coming out later this week for all you guys looking for some picks and playoff action, so make sure you stay tuned to the LineStar YouTube account for that, which leads me to, if you aren't following us, be sure to do so. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below, not only does a comment help us out in the algorithm that is YouTube? It also helps you out because if we go three for three, someone's getting 60 bucks. We'll finally get to unleash the money gun, which we were doing a lot earlier in the season, but uh, yeah. it's been a little cold lately, but I feel like we're close. We've been so close so we'll many times. Back. We'll get back to our winning ways. All right, so we're gonna start things off with a guy we went to who cashed for us yesterday, Emmanuel Quickly of the Toronto Raptors, the point guard over three and a half rebounds. That is minus 105. And line start in the consensus, liking the over here. And he's averaging 2.9 rebounds per game on the season. However, now that he's been with Toronto, he's seeing he's being utilized a lot more, but he's also that's very much reflected in the stats. He's averaging just under five rebounds per game in January, the five games that he's been with Toronto. And he's gone over Tyler in four of those five games with Toronto. He's got a tougher matchup tonight going up against the Clippers. However, when he was with the Knicks and played the Clippers not too long ago, he had five rebounds. And you got to think he's going to get even more. Um, he's utilized more with the Toronto Raptors in this one. I don't like to place a whole lot of weight. He was with a completely different team in, the, in that instance, but still like his odds tonight. Um, to get over that three and a half mark. What is your assessment? Yeah, I mean, I, I brought this one up last night and I actually ended up putting uh, two units on it instead of my normal one because I liked it so much. And I'm surprised the line is still the same. I think this line is just wrong. He, uh, as a starter, you already mentioned 4.8 rebounds per game with Toronto. But if you go back to last Uh, last year you know there was a stretch of games that Brunson was hurt he was starting and he averaged 5.4 rebounds per game as a starter with the Knicks so I like the spot six of ten point guards been over he can absolutely get it done on the boards and so I think 3.5 is low do you think this is an instance where the books have maybe accounted for the fact that it is a back-to-back the second game of a back-to-back for him and maybe they've kind of over uh I guess uh, I think it's more so that, that they have not, that they haven't really adjusted to, mm-hmm. you know, the role change and maybe they just haven't looked into his numbers, you know, as a starter versus a reserve and just, you know, ran their system as, you know, the numbers that he had with the Knicks and it's, they're just different. 
I think the same thing for the next guy we're going to talk about. Yeah, it leads us to perfectly to our next player, RJ Barrett, who's also we're, we've been taking advantage of in the prop market lately. RJ Barrett coming from the Knicks now with Toronto, seeing different kind of usage, and that's also reflected in the stat sheet. And we like the over here on seven and a half rebounds and assists at minus 135. Barrett's averaging 7.3 re- rebounds per game on the season. And Tyler, over the last month, the last five games since he's been with Toronto, he's averaging 7.2 rebounds alone and averaging 10.6 rebounds and assists over that those last five games. Going up against the Clippers, a tougher matchup in this one. How do you assess the line for R.J. Barrett here at 7.5 for that rebounds and assists? Sad. Yeah, it's another spot where I just think the line is a little bit low. His usage and or how he's being used with the Raptors is just different than the Knicks. You can see Anobi with the Knicks, his usage is down, you know, they're using him more defensively. RJ Barrett, his usage is similar, but he's hitting the boards more. He's, you know, passing the ball a little bit more and all over his game has just been a little bit better uh, for the betting side. So he's averaging 10.3 rebounds per 100 with Toronto, he was at 6.9 per 100 with the Knicks. For the assists, he's averaging 4.9 per 100 with Toronto, and it was at 3.1 with the Knicks. So there's just been a big boost up on both sides for his rebounds and assists, and I think we got to keep attacking this number uh, while it's only at 7.5. All right, so rolling with those two Raptors for our first two. on you do. Yeah. For Yes, it's up to eight on underdog, but we still like it. And we're going to hammer the over there with those two Toronto Raptors players. Lastly, we're going to the big man, Victor Wembanyama, over three blocked shots. Wemby's averaging 3.3 per game. He's gone over six of the last eight games. And actually, Zach Collins for the Spurs is out in this one. And I just noticed his usage goes up just a tick, 5%. And his block per game, blocks per game without Collins in there also up 21%. Now, Tyler, I do recognize that he's on a bit of a limits uh, restriction, if you will, but he can do a ton of damage, especially in the block shots department. And tonight he's going up against Detroit, a team that that ranks 27th in opponent blocks per game. So I think, and he's got like six inches on everybody on the floor. So I like his spot here for tonight. I know that line's crazy high for like a blocks prop, but like, I I still like it, right? He's going to swat everything Uh, away from there. To be honest, when we put this on the list, I kind of winced at first, but then I looked more into it. So even when he's averaging 20 to 29 minutes per game, he's still at 3.3 blocks per game. Now he's also in a very good spot for blocks. The other thing is the last couple games he played right around 26 minutes. When he plays without a minute restriction, he's only at like 31. So we're giving up five minutes here, but even in this time frame, he's averaging over the 3.3 in a really good spot. I think it does make some sense to uh, go here and attack this line. All right. So those are our top three player profits for today. Let us know where you're headed in the prop market. We're all trying to help each other out. So we got to hear from you in the comments. Remember, a comment also enters you into the prop bets contest. We're going to select one randomly selected commenter to win $60 if we go three for three. I think today is the day. Come on. We've been missing out so close lately, so got to hop back on track here. Remember, if you haven't already, to check out that Props AI tool that's been helping us out this season. You can do so on the LineStar app, and you can find that linestarapp.com. Take it out for a free test spin, a free trial. Give it a shot. Let us know what you think. Um, also, tune into our NFL stuff coming your way. Got props, anytime touchdown calls coming up for Week 19 Wild Card Weekend. So stay tuned for that. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. Sign up for those alerts too, because we know a lot of times the lines are moving and changing constantly. So make sure you hop on these bets right when we come out with them. Good luck in all of your prop betting endeavors. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Have a good one, guys. Good luck.